Hi, I'm Dr. Tom McClellan, and I'm going to show you an example today of the surgical um, intervention for basal or thumb arthritis. Basal or thumb arthritis is an arthritis that develops between the trapezium and the thumb metacarpal at the base of the thumb. It's most common in women, but can affect men as well. And it's usually a disease of uh, people in their 50s to 70s, but can strike younger people as well. Conservative treatment often deals with workplace or avocation modification, splinting, or steroid injections into that joint. Um, steroid injections into the joint can be done two or three times, but they are painful, and there is risk of injecting the steroid into another structure like the radial artery, which you would not want to do. But it does work well. I generally reserve surgery for those patients who fail conservative treatment, have refractory pain, or pain that increases to an 8 or 9 out of 10 that significantly impacts their life. The example I'm going to show you today is uh, using the flexor carpi radialis, which is a tendon which flexes your wrist, where we take that tendon, we take out the trapezium, which is uh, one of the interfering bones, we remove that, we bring this flexor carpi radialis into the wound, we reconstruct the, pul the palmar oblique ligament of the thumb with this tendon, and then we roll the tendon up into uh, what's called the anchovy, and this is often called the anchovy procedure, which is basically a spacer. We roll up this tendon and make a spacer out of it so that there is an interpositional graft between the thumb metacarpal and the remaining bones of the wrist so that there's some, um, some cushion to prevent further bone-on-bone -bone rubbing, which causes the arthritis in the first place. This is a great operation with a long history of success. Generally, people are splinted for about six weeks afterward, and then they progress through a hand therapy protocol. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email my office, and thank you so much for watching. You can see at the base of the thumb the sharp trapezium and the arthritis causing the pain. The incision is designed over the base of the thumb and confirmed. The dissection is carried down and the superficial branch of the radial nerve is identified and protected. The radial artery is identified, the joint capsule incised, and the trapezium is dissected around. The trapezium has been removed with a rangeur and the FCR is at the base. The FCR is identified, it's incised and freed up, and it's delivered through the wound and into the base of the thumb for ligament reconstruction. A channel has been drilled through the thumb metacarpal and now the FCR donor graft is placed through the channel and it will be sewn back onto itself suspending the thumb metacarpal and it's sewn in in this position. Here it's been sewn in, down onto itself, and the remaining portion of the flexor carpi radialis is rolled onto itself and then sutured into position, creating a spacer between the thumb metacarpal and the remaining bones of the wrist. Here the spacer has been placed and sutured into place. The radial artery is in the background, and now there's a, a spacer between the bones. The wound's been sutured and a K-wire has been placed for stability. 